I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to discuss how to make cliff dwellings in Minecraft. Uh, when the new Mesa biome was put into Minecraft, uh, th they added these clay or hard clay block mountains. And they're really nice, and uh, you can actually build dwellings right into the side of them. It's almost like they're a block that you can kind of sculpt, and you can take away and add to them. and uh, build dwellings right within them in in the side of the face and I think there's a lot of opportunities for different creativity just doing different types of cliff dwellings in it so I decided to make a video on this and uh, let me take you on a tour real quickly here if we pan over here you see the rest of this is just regular uh, plateau made out of clay and then we come over here and we have these uh, cliff dwellings that I started Down here in the center, you'll see kind of a water feature, if you want to call it that. There was actually two points that I ran into water uh, when I was doing this build, and I just left the water there, and I kind of made them into pools. So you've got to be aware of that and be careful. If there's water or lava uh, when you're digging through your uh, mesa, you have to be careful that you know it doesn't leak down into the next room or whatever. So it's one thing to be aware of. All right, we'll start down here at the bottom for the tour as though we're just walking through it. Open this door, this is the bottom level. Uh, nice little room in here. You notice there's a stripe along the wall. I just left whatever level of clay there was. Uh, sometimes I had to fill stuff in or add to it. Uh, and I just used whatever clay I had available, although you could match the clay if you wanted to keep the pattern, or you could make your own pattern if you wanted to. So that's something to be aware of. Or you can just patch in with a random color and make it look a little patchworky. Like you can see right here, there's a little different color right there, and uh, that added to it. Now there was sand down around the bottom here, and I kind of cleared it off to make it kind of nice and uh, expose the clay where it was being covered up. And I made these stairs. You could use ladders as well. Here's another level right here. This uh, room I'm still working on, I haven't cleared it out all of the way yet. Let me go up into this room right here. And this actually has uh, a little terrace or balcony out there. And this level starts to go across and has this connecting hall right here. Uh, there's another door out. I haven't added doors or windows here. One thing to be aware of is on some levels I actually have double high windows just because I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, if you were going to use this in survival mode you would have to put glass in those windows uh, to keep like zombies and skeletons out. If you're just doing creative mode you don't have to. So you can either put windows in or leave them out depending on what the look is you're going for. If we go back over here you see I actually have windows in here. Alright, go up to the next level here. This one continues down around there as well. Here you can see there's, um, I don't remember if I put these in or they may have just been in there. So these patterns show up and you can make your own like I said. So just something to be aware of. It actually has kind of a modern look where you have this kind of stripe going across here because of the different levels of clay. That was not the door I wanted to go in. I think I wanted to go into this door over here. And right here, you see this is a, another area I ran into water, so I have like kind of an indoor pool or pond in here. 
that ends down there. Down here you can see the uh, railroad tracks that I've put down. All right, now I didn't build a, a set of stairs up to the next level, but I actually started another level up here. And if we go up, you see there's a couple of levels of clay on top of this. Uh, you can build the levels anywhere you want within the side of the uh, kind of canyon wall. So I, I left a couple levels here, but you could leave more levels. Like if you come over here, there's more levels until we reach the uh, lower levels right here, right here. So you could leave it like that. Uh, I uh, flattened out the front of the walls to make them even and smooth, but you could also experiment with making them a little rougher if you wanted to. So let's see here. This is the bottom level right here. I'm going to go over here to continue. All right, I'm going to continue this level right here. I'm going to actually turn around the corner here. Uh, the thing you've got to plan out is how tall you want each level. Uh, you can have them as short as two blocks tall. Uh, I like three blocks tall because it's a little more spacious. Uh, you need to put another uh, level of blocks above for the the ceiling of the level and the floor above. So the ceiling from the lower level would be actually the upper level floor. Uh, so I'm making these four blocks tall. And I'm going to uh, carve out three blocks of that four blocks for the level. Uh, you can see here you have like sand around. And if there was sand built up here, you could knock it out. And then you could actually fill in with clay if you wanted to, in this case. Or you could leave the sand. Uh, but you want to clear the area so it's down to the bottom level. So you want to kind of level off the ground down here. Uh, and then you want to flatten the face. And so I'm going to take out some of these um, sand blocks. Uh, and uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock out some of these blocks. Or I could add to it. So we knock these out. And so we have four levels here. We actually don't need the ones up there. That will be the next level. All right. So over here, if we wanted to continue, we're going to have to put more blocks in to level it off. It's going to bring it up to four. We're going to clear out some of this. So we've turned the corner right there. All right, so it's smoothed off right here. I'm going to put a door right here. And I'm going to dig back. You can dig into the mountain as far as you want, and you can even dig to the other side if you wanted to. So that's something to bear in mind. I'm going to add a window right here. I'm actually going to dig out from the windows from the outside a little bit and that makes it easier to to find uh, where the edge of the wall is when you're digging on the inside so like when we go here we'll go in one block to make the wall then I'm gonna go back here a little bit 
That was a very good guess. If you mess up and knock out one of the blocks, you can always add another block with the same color or even a different color if you want. So we've connected these rooms right here. The thing you've got to make sure you do is you find the boundary. So I'm going to put a window right here. Uh, I could dig that out and make it easier if I dig it out from here because I would see it faster. But I'm going to just dig out one block to show you. That what you can actually do is just knock out the top level here and you'll find the window. And once you find the window you know where to turn for the wall. Let me knock out some of the blocks above here to make this a little bit taller. Alright, so I think I'll just look at the outside here. We've got kind of a a difficult turn right here. I'm going to put a uh, door in here. The other thing you can do is you can put a door in and just put a block back down and make it a window if you want at a later point. Yeah, that's where the corner is right there. All right. Let me make that a door again so I can get outside. All right, so we've kind of turned the corner in that. Torch here. So that's how you make a uh, cliff dwelling in Minecraft. Uh, that's how you dig out the rooms and everything. And uh, you just move along like that. Uh, we would just move up to the next level. And it, it's a good idea to kind of, you know, plan out your levels first so you know where they're going to go. Uh, but you could actually do all one level and move up to the next level, or you could start on one end and build up a few levels and then move across if you wanted to. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.